Hello, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, April 26th. My name is Ben Veely, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, have you ever wanted to pie the administrators or certain students? Now you can on this Friday for only 2 or $3. All proceeds will go to the West Shore Band. Beta members, please plan to attend the final meeting for this school year on this Thursday during Power Hour A in room 3201. The Spring Chorus Concert will take place tonight at O'Galley High School. The concert is free and will begin at 6.30 p.m. Now for a short story about our last minute study habits before the exams. Help me. <laughs> yep, it's testing season, all right. As AP exams and finals loom ever closer, Many teachers are worried about their students' study habits, or lack thereof. Everybody in my classes can at least pass the A push exam in AP site. What stops them? They're West Shore kids. Why, does it, why don't I have 100% pass rate? 40% um, aren't reading the book. Some of them do, and some of them don't. <laughs> uh, others from the skill sets of middle school, if not even worse? Probably about 30 to 40 percent. The other 60 percent probably studied the night before. Um, time out of the seat, coming home late. So how well do our students really study? We took to the streets to find out. Um, if I study at all, it's right before the class. Thank you. I never study. I mean, three hours a day. Don't I have a test? <laughs> I don't study. I don't study. I hate you. All right. Sometimes I make flashcards and sometimes I just study the stuff I've already written down. Flashcards and like reviewing friends, I guess. I get home. I do nothing but watch Netflix and just stare out in the space. I study regularly. I read multiple periodicals because teachers and educators are leaders of learning and when we stop learning, so do our students. For language arts, none because I got Mr. P. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't talk. I got to go study. Oh. oh, oh, look at this guy. Good man. I did not study at all. Yeah, no. I don't study. I study the night before. No. No, no. <laughs> I don't study. Thank you. I have none. Flashcards, too. Uh, Weebly.com. I don't. <laughs> Whenever I have a test. Thank you. Watching Netflix. Non-existent. Half an hour after school? Yeah, how often do you study? Almost never. Yeah, I study the answers. I cheat. <laughs> Non-stop cheat. No, I'm just joking. Oh my god. Okay. So, evidently, the teachers are right. Since I guess we need it. Ready to hear some useful last minute advice straight from the source? They wouldn't want me as an instructor to be multitasking while I'm grading their papers. Look at those areas that you weaken and then concentrate your review on those versus trying to go back from the first chapter to the last chapter. Don't waste time on stuff you already know. Yes, there is some people that can do an all-nighter and be able to get a great, great. But there's some people that have to do the staggering when it comes to study. Best of luck during exams, Wildcats. This has been Ben Veely with WCTZ News.
I will neither confirm nor deny such actions. Everything you say can and will be used against you. No, so. well, get the camera out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at look at our money off. And today's ice cream sandwich winner is Stone Keyshaw. Come to Mr. Schleyorn's room during Power Hour to collect your ice cream. With that, we thank you for tuning in to WCTZ News. This has been Ben Veely, and have a great week, Wildcats.